coming to the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only Taste Buddies, welcome to T A S T E Buds. I'm Joe. I'm Sam. And today we got all a beast battle. A beast <sighs> today battle. Is, today's wild, bruv. Chick fil A versus Chipotle. Yeah. I go to Chick fil A. I, I go get Chipotle. the chick. Ready? It's a lyric from a, a, that my buddy wrote. Ready? Okay. Ready? I take a girl to the Chick fil A and get the chick to pay like I'm Nick Lachey. My friend Jim Pigstone wrote that lyric. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's a good lyric. Does Nick Lachey often get people to pay for well, no, it? Was, he, wrote it <laughs> he wrote it when he was married to Jessica Simpson, and Jessica Simpson was far more famous. Than okay. He was. All right. Not, nothing against shout outs to Nick Lachey. I'm not yeah. knocking Nick Lachey. <laughs> But that was the joke. Uh, I I often hear people say Chipotle. You hear that? No. Chipotle mayo. Chipotle. It's I Chipotle. Think I, to, I think I was one of those people. Chipotle. Yeah, yeah. I hear it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look. These look. are two titans in the end. Industry. Okay. And by the way, we're basing this just on food. Let's like please not in get end. into the politics of the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Oh no, we're talking gay. <laughs> You don't think I'm bringing gays into the chicken conversation? <laughs> I know a lot of gay guys that'll eat Chick Fil A. <laughs> I, I do as well. Yeah, I do as well. But you know, all right, okay. Let's. But you think our our, our voters online aren't going to vote with their with that in mind? With their wallets? Yeah, with their taste? <laughs> you think going to vote with their taste buds, or you think they're going to let politics come into I it? I think politics. What, what's are the matter? Change. Chick Fil A doesn't just want to murder all the. What, 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 oh, Jesus Christ, Sal! What? No. What is the? I, I don't know. What's the? Uh, what's the top? I line? honestly don't know, Chick and I don't want to comment on it to to avoid any potential slanderous remarks. <laughs> I feel like it's. Well, I was going to say murder the chickens. Oh, <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I don't know where you're going. Jesus! Christ. I know that they think what marriage is should be between a man and a woman. Is that what they think? I don't want to talk about it. All right. Well. <laughs> They Wait, do marry delicious on, cutlets <laughs> with buns. Folks, it is Joe DeRosa from the Taste Buds Podcast. Please come see me live. I've got dates coming up in Philadelphia in March. I'll be at the South by Southwest Festival also in March. I'm also going to be at the Creek in the Cave in May. And then I will be in Fort Myers at Comedy Fort in June. And then there's a bunch of other dates and stuff coming up. Go to joederosainfo.com so you can get all the information about links to ticket sales and showtimes and all that sort of thing. And then Joey Roses in NYC. Come out and see us. We're open many days a week. We're open for many hours in those days, and it's an awesome bar, <laughs> social club hang, and we serve, we serve awesome, awesome sandwiches. So come see us. If you want the info and you're in town, joeyrosesnyc.com. What's up, guys? Going to give you some tour dates here. Albany and D.C., February 18th and February 19th. Still some tickets left to that Albany show. There's two shows. Uh, Madison and Chicago, February 26th and February 27th. I'll be at the Barrymore Theater and the Vic. Nashville with Chris Stefano playing the Ryman on March 11th. The next day, I'll be in Chattanooga on March 12th. A rescheduled, rescheduled Burlington to May 13th. Also a rescheduled San Diego and Los Angeles. I will be in San Diego on May 25th and Los Angeles on May 22nd. And then the rescheduled Fox, which is June 25th. Oh, shit. Hey, everybody. I'm at the Beacon Theater. And I will be playing here on May 14th, headlining, doing stand-up tickets. are on sale right now at SalVolcanoComedy.com. Uh, yeah, just the building's beautiful. And I'm just touring it right now to see the vibe, but I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, and just come and watch your step. Casting politics aside, um, let's just, I'm, I'm, I'm arguing based on merit and taste in menu, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. I will undoubtedly tell you. hates chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you this. Yeah. As far as a chicken sandwich goes, especially grilled, mm -hmm. Chick Fil A does something with their chicken. It's juicy and succulent, and it tastes great. And I think they are the best chicken sandwich. On Forch, Chick Fil A menu is terrible. Are you getting into the battle already? 
I was going to launch right into it. Oh, well, because we didn't do the chance yet or anything. All right, all right. All I mean, right, what, right. I, what is this, a free-for-all? Well, we did BAT the yeah, other I'm day. gone for a couple of weeks, yeah. all the rules go out the window? All right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> Come on, man. All right, all right, fair, fair, fair. But do you have anything else you'd like to you Maybe we get into a little history before we start yeah, making 100%. points. Yeah, 100%. Let's all do right. it. Let's get into the history. Chick-fil-A, I'm going to guess, came out in the 70s. I thought it came out during biblical times. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The story uh, behind Chick-fil-A. 1967. In 1967, when we first opened our doors, our founder, Truett Cathy. That just sounds like a hardcore Truett, I never heard of first name Christian, Truett doesn't Cathy. it? Yeah, wanted the company. That sounds name. like the name of a guy that like comes back and haunts after the yeah. cult died. Yeah. Like a poltergeist or something. Yep. Have you ever heard the legend of Truett Cathy? <laughs> he uh, hated chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted the company's name to reflect a top quality customer. To reflect the top quality customers should expect each time they visited a restaurant. That's why he chose Chick Filet. Chick to represent the signature item and Filet as a play on the word Filet. I mean, are they with a small twist? They're explaining this like we didn't know that that's what Filet meant. So chicken Filet? Yeah, I mean, this is, they're All really right. breaking this down. All right, what year? Now, Chipotle came out in wait, what? Wait, 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 2019, wait, 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 I think. Don't, don't get him. Don't get him Googling different things, spelling different things yet. <laughs> We're just looking at history. Well, let's just keep with a little Chick-fil-A. All right. So. How did Chick-fil-A become so successful? Chick-fil-A thrives because customers value the pleasant dining experience they've come to count on from the restaurant, an experience that likely results from the top-down corporate culture of the company. The fact that their food consistently yes. receives high marks for the taste doesn't hurt, though. It, That's it, it crazy. Is, it That's is. on Business Insider. What is... It is a very pleasant dining experience. Why? So long as you obey Christ and follow his law. <laughs> what, what, wait, wait, am I missing something? Did I not? Chick-fil-A has a, 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 a different dining experience than any, anyone else? I will say this about Chick-fil-A. Um, I have gone through a Chick-fil-A drive through several times because I was living in L.A. for a while. Uh, and, and, and also, I grew up with Chick-fil-A. Where I grew up, Chick-fil-A was like a prominent... It was, I, I didn't have Chick Fil A until a few years ago. Yeah, Chick Fil A was part of the scene where I grew up. So, so I've been through drive-throughs at Chick Fil A. I will say this: always, 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 and even when I've gone into the counter, the most pleasant, just, just polite. Uh, it's it's clearly something that's coming from the top down. Oh, I see. So their workers are not like your typical fast food workers. No, that no, give a they're shit. very like, how you doing? Like they smile. It, oh, like it when you seems used to go as if the, when you go into the Disney store in the mall, is is that what that's I think, like? Yeah, they like okay. they have it's like a cult. They're like, yeah. Hey, I was gonna say, th how are you yeah. today? How's everything? There is something about them trying to feel. You do feel that they're trying to pull you in. Okay. Uh, but you know, but yeah, I will say that it is it is incredibly incredibly pleasant. Um, I guess I've never dined in a Chick Fil A, and also I had a Chick Fil A at the Detroit airport last week. Oh man, I would kill to have a Chick Fil A access in an airport. Are you kidding me? Go to Detroit. Oh, by the way, I'm going to Detroit again. Oh, I just came from Detroit. I was in the Detroit airport last week three times in three days, and I never left the Detroit airport. It was three layovers in three days. Why are you doing layovers? That's the only routing they had. Oh. It was like going to like Des Moines. Why do you do? Like, why, like, why do you? Like can Indy. I? Can I give you some constructive criticism, please? Why do you do this to yourself? I gotta. You go, got I like, gotta go to these markets and see these people. You got like four hit TV shows. Your podcasts are doing well. Why are you doing this to yourself? Live performance, babe. I yeah, gotta stand so, up. So maybe you do some of the cities. I'm an every guy. I'm an every. I'm for every man. I'm an every man type of guy. I don't I'm going to all the hard to reach places. I don't. You guys get see it. the nightmare travel I have coming up with Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Oh, buddy, I don't get it. Minneapolis, Milwaukee, New York City, May fourteenth. I, I I got a whole a bunch of new dates coming up. Syracuse, Rochester. Well, those aren't nightmare travel cities. Though. No, but I'm just saying that there's a whole bunch of new cities about to be announced, players. I'm saying, all right, calm down, all right? I'm just saying, why do you do it to yourself? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. In get South's defense, most of the flights have gotten canceled these last few weeks. Yeah, canceled. They're horrible, really. I mean, anything goes wrong, I'm out. Why can't we fix the Ticket airports? agent looks at me sideways. I Louisville. get back in the cab and go home. <laughs> This is a, listen to me. These are all these are all yeah. to be announced soon. I just found out. So I just all want right. to say, can we please, please, can we please, can we please, can I just say, you brought it up, you brought it up. I didn't. I'm I'm trying to do a bit with you, and you now you're plugging right. again. Nope. Stop. Just, you stop. <laughs> Albany and DC shout out. Listen, let me just tell them what dates are coming up. Don't plug shame. Yeah, don't plug shame me. 
New York City, May 14th. And I that's TBD, but be ready I know, for that. That's TBD, can't Milwaukee, say the venue name yet. Mil- Milwaukee, Minnesota, <laughs> yep. Memphis, Louisville, Evansville, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Rochester, Syracuse, Knoxville, Greenville, South Carolina, Hampton Beach, and Mo. This is what people want to hear after they just watched the commercial where you said the same exact thing. Oh, did oh I didn't realize that. I, Thank you, Tim. I told you that last oh, the episode. The negativity is in the air today. The negativity is in the air. It's like Joe a DeRosa, mist. It's like a fine mist. Joe DeRosa info for all my upcoming dates, and I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it I at didn't that. Re- in my defense, I didn't realize that we'd be dropping something in because I just I didn't realize really? it. Really? The my thing bad. you for- film on purpose every time at that you say of, we have to do this? At the end of so today, could- though. God. Listen, I, I, I we put plugs in at the end. I put them in, in the beginning. I want people to know all the dates that are about to be announced before I announce them to everybody we else. We get it. This is a dedicated listener. <laughs> all right. I don't get it about Chick Fil A. Chipotle I, Ch- Chick-fil-A's been out since 1967. Chipotle came out in 2017. No, it didn't. So you can't <laughs> you can't even compare. No, that's when McDonald's I the, think pulled I know. out. What is the history of Chipotle? Chipotle and Mexican no, Grill was founded by Steve Ellis in '93 and is based in Denver, Colorado. In '93, Ellis took what he learned in San Francisco and opened the first Chipotle restaurant in Denver near the University of Denver campus with eighty five thousand dollars loan from his father. God bless the boy. Yeah. Uh, Steve Eastbrook, the McDonald's then CEO, said that investment in Chipotle and the other businesses were a distraction to McDonald's. Company executives wanted to put 100% of their efforts to grow McDonald's brand, thus they sold all the shares. So when did McDonald's buy Chipotle? Uh, I think, you know, like, you know, in like 2000 or something like that. Or How much did he make? But then they got rid of it. I'll never so. be able to see that. Yeah. 1995, scroll down. Using cash flow, Ellis opened the second Chipotle. In 95, third in 96. Father, oh, scroll down. Later that year, Ellis's father invested another one and a half million to fund further growth at Chipotle, and he created a board of directors and raised another 1.8 million. Okay. Most notably, McDonald's invested three hundred and sixty million dollars in chipotle in 1998 Mm -hmm. at the time chipotle was a five-year-old company with just 16 locations in the country with mcdonald's investment it expanded to a footprint of 500 locations by 2005 meanwhile mcdonald's became his largest investor holding a 90 percent stake Mm -hmm. on january 26 2006 chipotle went public with his stock rising a hundred percent on the first day the money raised from its IPO was used to open more stores. McDonald's suggested Chipotle operate a drive through and add breakfast items to their menus. They also suggested a brand name to Chipotle Fresh Mexican Grill in order to compete with other Mexican chains such as Baja Fresh. I actually really like Baja Fresh. I think Baja Fresh is disgusting. And honestly, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the few places I refuse to eat at. I'm like, I won't eat there. I won't eat there. Baja Fresh. Why? I think it's disgusting. I think it tastes like shit. Well, Chipotle kills. Baja Fresh. Panera Bread. I like Panera Bread. Not a fan. Oh, and, I uh, got a half sandwich and a soup. Nice. And then I kick it off with a pastry. Sometimes they, I get, I, I'll <laughs> grab a banana. I don't care. I, I could, I could with a gun to my head, I could eat chicken, Panera Bread. Chicken salad. Baja. On a be- <laughs> Baja Fresh. No, I won't do it. I won't do it So you will Fresh. be shot with a gun through your head because you won't bite into a Baja Fresh meal? Won't do it. Wow. Just won't do it. Won't do it. Hate is real, folks. Yeah. Won't do it. He'd rather his brain, Waffle House his brain's another, blown out. I, and people will get upset. Waffle House I'll avoid at all costs. Waffle House is tough. It gives me such a stomach ache. Yeah. Like, I just, you know. Will you do Domino's? I mean, dude, I'm talking, you, you got to be back to wall, meaning, like, I didn't eat at all today, and literally the only option is Domino's. Like, and then it's like, well, what are you going to do? You know, because it's 2 a.m. You should make a Joey Rose's gun-to-head uh, restaurant list. Gun-to-my head, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chick-fil-A, I was ripping them because I think their menu is very Wait, limited. Let's start the, do you want to start the battle or not? Yes. Well, then start it the way it's supposed to be started. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. I will tell you. Here we go. As corny as it is. B-A-T-T-L-E, buds. When I look into his eyes and I say it, something triggers in me, and I actually, it takes a little bit of the edge off. I don't. I think ever since we started the chant, we haven't gotten to major brawls. I think the chant is keeping the people from it what they really, really love. was invented after pool and beach and weed and alcohol. I know. And, and, yeah. and, and, and we do it, and it really, I think, has an effect. 
Okay. Let's you know that we're in the octagon, and what happens in the octagon stays in the octagon. Okay. So Chick Fil A <laughs> is the premier, the gold standard for a chicken sandwich fast food. It is 100%. everyone's favorite. Even though they have a political stance that all people don't agree with, I like you said before. I even see people. It doesn't even matter. They're like, I just eat the Chick Fil A, and well, the reason I think that that's justifiable, by the way, is because I actually know a guy that owns a Chick Fil A, and he has said to me. It's a franchise. He's like, dude, I don't believe in that crap. Right. He's like, it's a franchise. He goes, I own my restaurant, and I, right. I don't promote anything like okay, that. Okay, fair. So I do think there is a justification to being able to eat at this place without, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, whereas uh, sometimes other stores, like maybe, you know, uh, we don't have to name names, but there are other places out there that aren't franchises that people might say, I don't shop there because of whatever. Sure. And you go, okay, well, that's a chain, and it's all owned by the same well, whatever. We, we think this is going to be a big battle because, like I said, I think that Chick-fil-A is, I think, in an island of its own as far as, like, a fast food you restaurant can't touch that it. just has chicken. You can't touch it. But I and do. Chipotle, I think, you got your other competitors, but, I mean, Chipotle is the is the gold standard for fast, casual Mexican. No? No. Not even close. Not the gold. What is Taco Bell is the is the standard for fast casual Mexican fast food Mexican Taco Bell, but Pimp is almost choked on his salad. I watched him because you called Taco Bell a gold standard. We're talking about fast food and Mexican food. When people think fast food and Mexican, they think Taco Bell. They don't think Chipotle first. They no, don't. I don't know about that. Not these days. I think Chipotle has carved out market share for itself, Listen, man. Chipotle. I think you're looking at college kids, and I don't think when you say gold standard, Chipotle, the, the food is is much better than Taco Bell. Not saying they it's not a higher quality, higher quality meats, cuts of meat, fresher not ingredients. Saying it's they not. make it right there in front. I'm of you. just saying, if you're sitting around the house and it's movie night, and your your better half or your best buddy or whoever you're with says, "Want to get delivery?" Ooh. Wouldn't it be fun to get fast food? Ooh, let's get ta you think you go Chipotle, Taco Bell. You're getting Taco Bell. Come on, give me a break. I mean, give if me you're hanging break. late night and you're like playing video games or watching them, I don't know. But but Chipotle is the better food. It's better if, if there was a sure. Chipotle and a Taco Bell next to each other in an airport, in a mall, in a parking, in a par strip strip mall. Oh, I'm right. always going Chipotle. I go to the Taco Bell. Oh, you're crazy, bro. But listen, and you, and let's you want to talk about cocktail. Let's meetings. get back to the audacious Taco Bell argument. is the biggest fast food chain that competes directly against Chipotle with over 7,300 locations. Taco Bell is a giant that towers over Chipotle, waiting for the right opportunity to grab its market share. <laughs> I mean, I get, I don't know. There it is in plain text. But you, but you call it the gold standard. I'm talking about, honestly, for quality, it's not. But you, but, but you can't say that. Like, here's the thing. For for quality, neither is Chipotle. Then, if you're going to look at it from that standpoint, there's a million. For, there's for a million fast food, though. There's a million taquerias and nah, small bro, fast food. Though, small fast Mexi food. I know, but that, a taqueria is, is essentially fast food. It's for a, a flat chain fast food, fast casual restaurant. The quality of Chipotle's food is eons ahead. I would of say Taco that you Bell's could food. argue that and that is a you could argue perception. you could argue that Chili's is is above uh, Chipotle. Chili's is a restaurant. Chili's has a has a strictly to go fast food style thing Chili's attached to every has Chili's. A menu with everything on it. It's it's Mexican. I'm just telling you something. But here's look, it doesn't matter. Why we it doesn't this? matter. We don't have Chipotle. to. I want to get back to your audacious absurd argument that you were going to make that chick-fil-a's menu is too repetitive it compared is. to chipotle it is are you nuts are you nuts well the mexican food thing... by design is a lot of redundancy but so that's why it's a crazy argument yeah for but chick-fil-a the menu oh let me you know what let me just wait till i get to their fries because they're the worst fries in the fast food game they are the worst fries in the fast food game yeah i said it uh, chick-fil-a's fries are not good bro they're not good. I don't know. I don't know. That they, are, the, they are. They are. They I are. They are good. I can't believe that they're competing with the chicken sandwich at that high a level, and then they plummet with their fry. They don't plummet. They're the only ones doing waffle fries. I don't and know the about reason, that. And, and the reason, and the reason, and it's 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 they're not always under. They are always this way undercooked. You're making always. things up. Now. They're always chew, like, Oh, they're always soft and undercooked. This is always. the guy that argued for fucking potato skins last week. Uh, right. They're waffle fries, and the waffle, waffle. fry complements their sandwich. Their sandwich, to me, would be downgraded if they didn't do uh, a, a, a unique fry experience. They, they need to have a meeting. About, I need I would need the guy in, in charge to call a meeting about the fries. I want to get him in there, and I want him to say, look, we're dominating with chicken. The person who's in charge of fries corporately needs to be fired. 
That's this is sure. why Chick Fil A is better. Family. This is why Chick Fil A be is better. This is why Chick Fil A is better. You can't cut it as a waffle and think that's going to solve all your problems. This is the why fry Ch- is horrendous. This is why Chick Fil A is better. Why? You don't crave. It's, it's thirty different chicken dishes. You crave that sandwich. That's why it's that simple. You don't crave ch- Chipotle. Oh, you're wrong, buddy. And if you and by the wrong. way, let me finish. Let me finish. And if you are craving Chipotle, you're craving any burrito bowl of quality that you can get in a million different places. When you crave Chick Fil A, there is one place that's going to satisfy that hunger, and it is Chick Fil A. That is it. That's Nobody can bowl. come close. Others have tried. McDonald's has tried to mimic the. My sweet McDonald's has tried to mimic the sandwich and failed. The Popeye sandwich is great, but it can't touch the Chick-fil-A sandwich. KFC has great chicken sandwiches. They can't touch the Chick-fil-A how are sandwich. You, how are you going to say that when people are craving Chipotle, they're actually uh, craving any type of Mexican restaurant tell me, that level? You tell but me. You tell me if I get you a really nice ch- grilled chicken sandwich from a restaurant. First a of all, grill. I don't know who's getting grilled chicken at Chick-fil-A. I'm getting the original Chick-fil-A sandwich with the two pickles and the breaded patty. Number one, yes, you cannot get that that. Taste anywhere except Chick Fil A. Why? And you know it. What are they doing to the chicken? I don't know. I don't Why know. But you know that that's true. That of the chicken? But you know that that's true. Well, you're craving a specific taste, I guess. Every time you you don't guess. Every I'll time take you get an that actual thing. chicken sandwich from a restaurant over that chicken Please, sandwich. Please, that's are you nuts? so nuts. Are you nuts. Every Chick Fil A sandwich, every time, perfectly moist. It's never dry. Perfect layer of Using breading. Using a patented hydraulic system that ex- exerts the perfect amount of pressure on the chicken, the fast food joint was able to achieve a juicy and tender piece of meat that cooks quickly and produces. Arguably the most emblematic indicator of freshly cooked meat, real grill marks. Here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too, with Chick-fil-A. It's never it's never done incorrectly. It's consistent. And you want to talk about flavor and whatever. They put two pickles on that thing, and that's it. You're out the door. That roll they use, I don't know if it's buttered or what is going on with it, but it's amazing. Could, now you tell me, Chipotle. What aside from the fact that it's fresh ingredients and like a quality meat, you're sitting there. What right, stands you're sitting out? There right what there. stands out you about the taste the meat, of it? You watch you're right in front of you. I don't care. Okay. What stands out about the taste of it? I think the taste is very, very good for fast food. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but my are, point the is, the steak is, is good. The beef is good. The chicken could, is good. Black and chicken. Yeah. They got a pico de gallo in there. That's yeah. Like, yeah. I love the beans. They got you a, could, a variety you could do of beans. All of these rice. things at any decent burrito Mexican bowl is spot. unbelievable. I eat a burrito bowl. I feel like I'm I'm getting my money's worth. It weighs about two pounds. Great. It has it has fresh ingredients. It fills me up, and it doesn't doesn't still feel like I'm eating. My question. It doesn't feel like I'm eating trash food. Still, neither Chick Fil A. But you still haven't answered my question. You everything you're describing about the burrito bowl is consistent with almost any quality place where you can get Same a burrito a bowl. Sandwich. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, no, you cannot emulate Chick Fil A's two flavor. Two pickles on a bun. Brother, you're you're way out of your league here. You're wrong. I'm out of my league. You're wrong. All right. Do you think that people are more there are more diehard people for Chipotle or diehard people for Chick fil A? I think Chick fil A, obviously so. like uh, because I think it's a unique experience that you can only get there. Chick fil A, if you want chicken, you go there. Otherwise they have nothing to offer you. That's not what I'm saying. You're not. You're dodging the question because you I'm don't not. have an argument. We're talking about not a chicken sandwich. We're talking about Chick Fil A. No, I'm saying as though, a whole. A when menu. you want that signature dish, which is their original chicken sandwich, chicken on bread signature dish, just like yeah, a burrito bowl signature dish. Uh, I didn't call it a signature dish. That's but that's you that's did. Chipotle's signature dish is the burrito bowl. That's what they're known for. That's their thing. That's what everybody gets when they go there. Okay, I've never seen somebody go and get the tacos at fucking Chipotle. Nobody wants the tacos from from they get Ritty. tacos all day long. Anyway, okay. Okay, great. My point is this. You cannot tell me why Ch- Chipotle is a unique experience taste-wise versus why I can tell you Chick-fil-A is a unique experience taste-wise. At the, the bottom line, though, is Chick-fil-A falls under the category of your really standard fast food item, it where doesn't. Chipotle is known as elevated. It is. It, it is. Doesn't. It's, it's, it's a lot more real ingredients, fresher ingredients, made right in front of you. Whole piece of chicken breast meat. Whole piece of chicken yeah, breast, but it is unbelievably seasoned food. on a nice on a nice roll with two pickles. What is what is processed I think, about that? I think your I think Chick Fil A is more um, more uh, fast food, whereas Chipotle yeah, you, is more know. fast. Casual, I heard you the first eleven times you casual. said it, 
But you're I don't not, know if there's drive throughs in Chipotle. But you, I, it's a fast casual but you're restaurant. Not, you it's a little still bit different. haven't answered the my food question. is better. The menu is better. You still haven't answered What's my question. What's your question, babe? You get a good burrito bowl from Chipotle. How is that unique in flavor and taste to any place you get a good burrito bowl it's from? It's accessible. It's high quality at a decent price point. What do you mean? I don't get a good I'm, burrito bowl I mean everywhere. What I Where mean? else do you get your burrito bowls, man? Where? Cadoba. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Cadoba. Okay. Exactly Chick fil A. Chipotle. Boom. Exactly the same thing. Okay, but but it's not as good. Neither is it Baja is. Fresh. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You just said it. Wait, so you're just comparing it to one other fast food place and saying it's your typical bur burrito bowl? It's I'm not. saying any place I have ever gone of, of decent quality that sells a burrito bowl, if you put me in a blind taste test with that against Chipotle, I could not tell you the difference. However, if you put me in a blind taste test, Chick-fil-A versus a million other chicken sandwiches, I know the Chick-fil-A every time. And when I crave because it, there taste. is no substitute. Because there is a certain taste. You got pick on it you got the, the, the all right fine that's fine but you're telling me thank you for but, finally admitting to that yeah, but it's, it's it's just because it has a distinct taste doesn't mean that chick-fil-a as a whole we're arguing chick-fil-a as yeah. an institution versus chipotle as an institution yeah. you're leaning into the fact that you love the way one chicken sandwich tastes but you're you're just neglecting the entire menu all right i'm gonna hit you with this because, because their with rice also tastes like somebody else's rice. It doesn't make any sense Google, to do me. Google, do me a favor. Or, or, or Pimp, Chipotle do me a favor. has a reputation, buddy. I want you to Google. It has a reputation for fast casual, very, everyone thinks, no one, you never hear people complain about the quality of Chipotle. You, as a matter of fact, you only hear people pat them on the back for it. It's, it's, it is fresh quality ingredients in a fast casual restaurant. Kanye West you has are, a song about Chipotle. Yeah. He does, yeah I'm not and it's a hit. That's a hit, too. Which one is this? What song? It's, it's called Clothes Chick on, it's clothes clothes on, on Sunday. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. Yeah. What about that? Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday in observance of religion. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I didn't say it wasn't. What's that got to do with the wild. food? What's that got to do with the so taste what about of the every, food? What about, what about your, your, your son? Your, it's a Sunday and you, you're dying for your Chick-fil-A. You can't get it because get it. in Jerusalem, a couple of thousand years ago, something happened. What's your point? My point is Joey why, Roses. Is why closed. are we mentioning church and Joey state? Roses is closed on a Monday. Why are we mentioning? Why Man, are, are those people happy <laughs> on that Wednesday? Why are we mentioning? Yeah, you're closed. We because, reopen. We're closed because the same reason other businesses are closed. Usually Monday is a slower day; it doesn't pay to open. It's a difference. They're closed in observance. Yeah, of a being, a spiritual being. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I like the food. Why are we mixing chicken and chicken and, and church? We already talked. We already talked about this. It doesn't affect the quality of the food. You're telling me a guy that franchises like your friend can't open on that day. He can't feed his family on a weekend uh, yeah, day. That's, that's okay? yeah. Can't yeah, feed his family. By the way, I'm right. sure on a weekend is where a lot of the fast food sales are up. Right? People are out. They're going shopping. They're in. You know, this isn't people, an argument about the food though you're, that you're making. It's, it's about both restaurants. So if Chick Fil A stands by being closed on Sundays, why can't I bring this, that brother. up? I'll tell you this, brother. What about your friend? I'll tell you this, brother. Your friend I, who franchises and doesn't believe in it has to lock his doors on a I Sunday. Can't walk. And his kids want to go to college. I can't. I can't. I can't tell you the last time I passed a Chick Fil A and didn't go in to get something. That's how much I love it. I have. You're wrong. I cruised Chipotle. past Chipotle. That's you in my life that's without you. batting an eye. That's you. That's why I'm arguing it. I know that's me. That's we, the point of the I'll show. This way. As I argue the thing I like. Ten, year, ten years filming Jokers. A lot of times in the middle of the day, we're starving. We're filming all day. We're like, shit. Let's order something fast. I'm talking fifty people on that crew. Ten out of ten times we're going Chipotle over Chick Fil A. Ten out of ten times. Nine out of ten times. Okay. Uh, people I would agree Chipotle. with that. People are like, oh, Chipotle today. And we're like, yes, Chipotle today. People do crave I would Chipotle. I would agree. No, I think that it's a quality food that tastes good. I'm not saying that it's not. When I worked in writer's rooms, I liked Chipotle as an option too. Why? It was a decently healthy meal. It didn't make me feel tired afterwards. Great. If I didn't get it with the These rice. Are the benefits. Doesn't mean it's a better food. Why not? <laughs> By the way, it's secretly it's fattening. Chipotle is secretly fattening. Really, is yeah. It really? By yeah. the way, it's horribly fat. Yeah. The why, chips. Why? Are, look up the calorie count of chips and guac. I'm at not Chipotle. getting chips and guac, bro. It doesn't matter. It's secretly yeah, fattening. But, uh, if we're gonna do that, every menu has All right, something then look fattening up the, on then it. Then look up the. Uh, yeah, but you, I you, want to look up both menus, pimp. I just want to. I want to read both but menus. But I'm not I'm making gonna, the uh, argument for health. You are no. No, I didn't. Yes, you are. You're making a quality argument. Yeah, quality is better. Yes, it is healthier. You're right. Okay. 
Let's look at calorie count. Look at but this. But I'm not saying you can't pick off one item on the menu that's going to be high in fat. Guacamole is pure pimp, fat. Pimp, just do to po- Chipotle burrito bowl calories. Let's just see what the average but, calorie. But I'll is. just look up your your fried chicken sandwich calories. What's but the I'm not deal? arguing that it's that it's better for you and it's this. But and you're it's picking that. one thing on the menu that you think has high in calorie and fat. Then so well, what? I'm talking I, overall. I, the menu's I offered healthier. I offered the other item, which was the it's chips and guac, food. and you said I don't eat that. So I'm going to the thing that I you see do a eat. Chicken from Chick Fil A, and I raise you beef. I raise you fucking tofu. Okay. I raise you a uh, 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 steak. Okay. Plus I got rice. I got beans. I got. Let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something. Come on, I got so much more quality fresh brother. food than you. It'll be those a, shits are coming in frozen, it'll be a bro. Cold day. You're not cooking those from. You're it'll not cooking be, those from actual let fillets. Let me tell you something, you're brother. You're not cooking those from raw fillets. Let me tell you something. They come in frozen. It'll be a cold day in Tijuana when I can tell the difference between <laughs> the steak, the pork, or the chicken at, at you're Chipotle. Crazy, you're Joe. nuts. It all tastes the same. You can't tell the difference between steak and pork. Not at Chipotle. I can't. Not at Chipotle. Jump out your ass. I was going to jump on Sal's side. I can get a beer in Chipotle. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, well. <laughs> okay. How about that? Because it's fast, casual. You know it's what I can get? You know what I can okay. get? You know what I can get at Chick fil A? Homemade lemonade. Homemade oh, lemonade. Oh, <laughs> Nothing beats get it. Out of my face. <laughs> Joe, you realize that everything you're eating there is frozen, right? Everything. Not what do you think is happening at Chipotle? Do you think they're slaughtering lambs they're in co- the back? They're cooking it on the grill. They're cooking what do it you on think the grill. What, how do you think it's coming grill. when it gets there? Not frozen. Oh yeah, I'm sure they're Let's chopping it, it up, all up. Let's look it up. I'm Pimp. sure they're chopping Let's it all up. up. I want to look at two things. I want to look at both menus and I want to look at both manufacturing processes. And you're right, by the way. You're right, by the way. It's there's nothing like the attractiveness of vats when you're ordering food. Watching stuff get scooped out of vats. We try to focus on... Hey, right there. First one. First one. Is Chick-fil-A fresh or frozen? Chick-fil-A, which last year surpassed KFC, whoa, to become the number one chicken in the U.S., is touted as home of the original chicken sandwich. The, the chicken, chicken it sandwich. serves is fresh, never frozen, and it's hand-breaded in the restaurants. Suck my <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Chipotle. <laughs> Let's go to Chipotle. You didn't even know it, Joe. You just found out. So get off your fucking horse. (laughs) Just found out. Chipotle seeks out the finest ingredients that are not only fresh, but they're raised responsibly (laughs) responsibly with respect for animals, land, and the people who produce Mm -hmm. them. Chipotle prepares its food without the use of added colors, flavors, or preservatives typically found in fast food. I love Chipotle is fresher and better, and the typically and the, the animals are humanely raised. You think they're worried? Typically, think, let me let me let me Google chicken well, let's farm. Let's ask. Chick-fil-A chicken farm. Let's it's ask. gonna be coops that you don't even want to look way. at. Chipotle's website says it's fresh cooking is done using pleasant <laughs> methods, no shortcuts. But Chipotle doesn't do all its own cooking. <laughs> Go ahead, read it up. Read it. Two outside companies braise the carnitas in the barbacoa, trim the steaks, and cook the beans. What is that? It's still fresh. Oh my God! That's it's from an article called Nine Disappointing Facts." Oh, about let's Chipotle. go through Who's this got it article. Out? Who's got an apple Chipotle? If you're gonna pull that up, you pull up disappointing okay, facts about Chick Fil A. We will. And we go through them both because I have had this. This is a fucking hit <laughs> job right now. The company that does Chipotle's cooking is the same one that makes McDonald's McNuggets, Big Macs, McRibs. Chipotle does not do its own cooking. Okay, we're scrolling to point number two, Pip. It does, do, it does too. It said it does most of its own cooking. Don't lie. Some of Chipotle's locally sourced food travels thousands of extra miles, so it can be processed in Chicago. Some of Chipotle's locally sourced food travels... Oh, it's, I don't, for some reason it says it twice. Chipotle animal welfare standards may be better than other national restaurant chains, but they are still unclear. Chipotle's animal... It says... Okay, it's oh, it's, okay, Sorry. Chipotle is importing grass-fed beef from Australia despite American producers lining up to work for them. So they don't care about the American grass-fed man. Grass-fed beef. It's grass-fed beef. Chipotle will not disclose which Australian companies are supplying its grass-fed beef. So basically, they're the Netflix of, of fast food. Well, we have the highest rated whatever. Can we see the numbers? Nope. No. <laughs> I mean... I'm going to pull up the same thing for Chick-fil-A. Okay, let's, I can't wait. I can't wait. Chipotle's ingredients include GMOs and trans fats. Chipotle's advertising campaigns are as much fiction as fat. <laughs> who, who wrote this? 
<laughs> There's not. What, 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 what does that even mean? What, what does that even mean? Oh, oh, here's the nail in the coffin. The restaurant's cultivating thought campaign features the work of 10 writers, none of them Mexican or Latino. Oh, my God. Who made this oh article? Someone is. Who, someone, oh, my God. Who, who, wrote this, who, wrote, who wrote this article? Colonel Sanders? You're Chipotle's killed. two CEOs are paid a combined forty nine and a half million, while the average entry level employee is twenty one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. God, what does it matter? I'm talking about the food, man. All right, let's go to let's find disappointing facts about Chick Fil A. Oh, this winter, I want you, Sal, to upgrade your daily routine with Bespoke Post and their new seasonal lineup of must have box of awesome collections we got some of this stuff and it's really cool i got it yeah bespoke post partners with small businesses and emerging brands and they bring you unique goods every month uh i have used them twice so far i think i mentioned this one time i got a garment bag Mm -hmm. that also folds into like to goes into a duffel bag yeah so i like that uh and i never had a garment bag before but it's not just strictly a garment bag so i get used out of it all the time it's really cool uh it's good quality and then i also got a machete bro (laughs) I've always Wait, a machete? wanted no hunting knife. It's a, it's a, it's a machete. You got a machete. It's like that. Oh wow! I, mean, I got a really cool hunting knife. How big's the knife? It looks like a like Rambo. Oh, so no, that, I didn't okay. get that. I got a straight up machete that you can go through, like, and cut stuff down with. Like, I love it. I always wanted a machete, and it's cool. It's like in like a, it's in like a leather attaché. I love it. It's got so a cool handle. Mine, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep this also in the house. Well, here's the thing. Whatever you're into, Box of Awesome has you covered. Yeah. They sent me amazing whiskey glasses. Uh, I got a. Great, oh, you got the whiskey stones for the for the drinks. Uh, I didn't get cool. the stones. I got uh, the whiskey glasses that have a pointed bottom and are spill proof, and they. Spin. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So cool. Um, but they just have so much cool stuff to get started. You're gonna go take a quick quiz it's at fun. boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for they you. They curated for you. Exactly. They release new boxes every month uh, across a ton of different categories. By the way, what an awesome gift for like a There's person. There's stuff in there you, from you know, yeah. <clears throat> from shoes to gloves to knives to cookware to barbecue stuff to travel stuff. Exactly. So lotions, cologne. Like it's, ev- it's everything you can think of. You're getting all kinds of cool stuff. And then also you're supporting small businesses. I mean, this is so great that 90% of everything that comes in the box of Austin, Austin is from a small up and coming brand. So And it retails for about 45. This is the good good oh, part sorry, though. It yeah. retails for like 45, but the actual, if you buy the things individually in the box, it's like 75 bucks. So you're getting almost a savings of like half off. And it gets even better because you're going to get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code TASTEBUDS at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code TASTEBUDS for 20% off your first box. Buddy, I got good news for you, or interesting news. I've sort of, uh, I've switched off the old Siggies. I know. Which is why I want to talk about Lucy. Lucy, yep, yep, yep. Lucy, Lucy. is the nicotine alternative. Yeah, if you're going to consume nicotine to yeah. relax, you might as well consume it in a way that's yeah. not as bad as cigarettes, that's for Lucy sure. Lucy has helped me make the switch. I like what they do. I like their product. They got a gum. They got a little pouch you park. And uh, it's helped me make a switch from Siggy's. And I'll tell you, I've been quite drunk at times and still not switched back to Siggy's. I notice you don't smell like a barn either. <laughs> yeah. When I have the craving, I pop a loose and yeah. that's it. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. And look, a lot of people use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind. Lucy is a modern oral nicotine company that makes the gum and the lozenges in the pouches for adults who are looking for a responsible way to consume their nicotine. Uh, it's a new year. Why not start out by switching to a new nicotine product that you can feel good about, okay? Yeah, and it's nice, too. Like, I like that they have these little packets, and, and, and there's, a, there's a method to the way you chew the gum. You don't just chew it. You kind of park it, then chew it, then park it, then chew it. And honestly, for a guy like me who sits at a computer and writes or whatever, it sort of gives you a ritualistic aspect to it like you would have with smoking. So if you enjoy using nicotine, you should definitely check out Lucy's products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co. Use the promo code TASTEBUDS at checkout. Also... Uh, I have to read this. Uh, Warning, the product does contain nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Remember, if you're interested, though, in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code TASTEBUDS. It's Chick-fil-A toxic. (laughs) Employees push way too hard. Chick-fil-A is an unbelievably toxic place to work. All upper management is trained to work regular team members as hard as they can because turnover rates are so high in the fast food industry. 
All right, there's anyway. not really any basis. For, what makes Chick Fil A unhealthy? Cook that one. These items are very high in sugar, fat, and yep. calories. Uh, they may not be your best choices. Consider only eating them on occasion right. if you're watching sugar, fat, and calorie intake. Go ahead. Okay, that's that's a no-brainer. We all know that. Is Chick-fil-A healthy? Not seeing disappointing facts about Chick-fil-A. No, uh, just go to no, but go to the go to one of the Again, this picture has there's a, super disappointed in chick there's a whole bunch of shit. That's no, Reddit, but this though. is these are opinion blogs. <laughs> no, no, these go are back. like uh, these we'll are like it. Reddit threads. We'll and find stuff. it. Going, she's scrolling too fast. Let's see. Disappointing is one word not often associated with Chick-fil-A. Oh, look at that. A vat of nuggets. Disappointing is one word that's not often associated with Chick-fil-A. Uh, the chain is known for going above and beyond for customers on countless occasions. Okay. There was a Chick-fil-A in Texas that helped out a teacher working in New Mexico who forgot her purse by not only overnighting it what back to her, about? but also adding a gift card. <laughs> uh, they, kn they knew that Dude. was a PR stunt. Come a on. picture worth right. a thousand words. Okay, this, okay, let's see. People have some choice words for Chick-fil-A, especially those worried about food waste. An image posted on Reddit features Chick-fil-A leftovers and a note, all of this is trashed. The image shows two shells full of various chicken, chicken nuggets, and other items that seem to be ready to be thrown away. Okay, so somebody on Reddit posted a picture and made a claim, and we have no idea if it's true or not. Also, food we, we're gonna get we're gonna get into food waste. Every restaurant does that. So back out, pimpy. And it sucks when any put, restaurant does it. Criticisms of Chick Fil A. Oh, you're flailing, dude. Oh, you. This is one I wish they could have heard the, the Criticisms. argument. Criticism. No, that's not even criticisms, bud. Oh. <laughs> Criti there. Oh, so, boy. You got it. There it is. <laughs> Chick-fil-A's anti-LGBT controversy we know, is explained. We're, okay. Yeah. We, we're, what else? We, but yeah. We, that, that, you can't even fact check. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> no. Chick-fil-A has not resumed donations to groups that oppose LGBTQ okay. rights. Uh, oh, wow. Another point for Chick-fil-A. What do you mean? It says they have not re, they have not returned to making those donations. They stopped doing they it. They dropped. No, no, you're wrong. That's what it just said. No, no. Ending. Go, oh. Has not resumed donations to the groups that oppose the rights of gay people. It says it right there. They did the right thing. <laughs> it's their stance, though. No. It's the fact that they were donating to certain groups that opposed LGBTQ rights. Okay. And they Back out. Yeah. So, another, as I said, another point for Chick-fil-A. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I would really like just well after this I just want to look on a uh, gay marriage oh beef I get it uh okay scroll scroll it's see all no, this, because all it's this, not well, all that's there. gonna come all that's gonna come when you put criticism is gonna be okay. the LGBTQ these stuff. are the these are no the, no it's all that's gonna come because it couldn't just be that your restaurant's full of shit and buddy we just clicked on the first three pages here best and worst I mean everything's about LGBTQ what am, what am I gonna do but like, it, it, you, it, it, no you, you saw it. we you saw unhealthy uh, uh, we're throwing this 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 picture why does Chick Fil A make me sick you can get food poisoning. Chick-fil-A food poisoning reports commonly include diarrhea and nausea as what, symptoms. Uh, uh, Salmonella is common. Uh, this is scroll down more real. pictures all the way. More, more, more. Okay. More, more. You, right there, scroll up. You should never eat at Chick-fil-A again. From mash.com. Mash Here we go. The cows might be telling us to eat more chicken, but does it really have to be a Chick-fil-A chicken? The company, according to ranked number eight overall in the U.S. of fast food sales in 2018, already out-earns McDonald's. Okay, so here we go. There's also the food to consider, and they're saying outside of the political views. CFA zealots will say that the chain's chicken sandwiches are tops, but we're not so sure. It turns out the sandwich isn't even the most popular item. What happened? Uh, oh, most on popular item on their own menu. In fact, for two years running, the waffle fries have claimed oh. the title. And we think we know why. Although hardcore fans might disagree, these are the reasons you should never eat Chick-fil-A again. Number the one. Chick the sandwiches are super salty. That's true. Don't give a shit. That's Tastes very great. true. Uh, and they still aren't that good. That's not true, and that's that's sub, that's subjective. Okay, uh, so good. whatever. The sauce just complicates things. That's not a real argument. Nobody cares. That's for the nuggets. The fries aren't that great. Okay, whatever. The history of the employee discrimination. Okay, now let's see what this says. 
The corporate purpose listed on the company's website reads to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted to us and have a a positive influence on all who come into contact with Chick-fil-A. Given that, one might assume that discriminating against employees, whether it be due to gender, disability, or other reasons, will be off the table, but their track record suggests otherwise. According to okay. Forbes, the company was sued at least 12 times between 98 and 2007 on charges no, of... No, 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 no. 1988 and 2007. I said that. No, you said 98. Okay. Well, there's that's a huge difference. One former Muslim employee alleges he was fired after refusing to participate in group prayer to Jesus Christ. 2011, Chick-fil-A had a lawsuit brought against of agenda discrimination. More recently, the company was against ac- accused of discriminations, this time against disabled job applicants. After an autistic man tried to apply for a job, the 2016 lawsuit alleges that the manager told the applicant's job coach that Chick-fil-A was not interested in hiring people with disabilities, and people with disabilities would not be able to succeed at a Chick-fil-A. Is there any proof to any of this? All right, fair enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is all... And also, as we said, this is a franchise restaurant. It could have been an asshole that owned a Chick-fil-A in the middle of nowhere. We're not not trying to get into this big... This This uh, will be the part I clip and tag both companies. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's go. We 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 actually got to go to the phones. We're just reading what's coming up. Yeah, I know. We got to go to the phones. We got to go to the phones. (laughs) Where Uh, are we, Pimpy? We got to go to the phones. Yeah. Okay, okay. Don't contradict me. I, I know. I, I just I, want to know where we I are. I have your best interests in mind. I can't ask him where we are. I have your best interests in mind. Well, this one's taken off here. 14,000 votes. Okay, that was right, double the last amount of votes. Read a few questions. Chipotle isn't my favorite Mexican spot, but if I'm going to get diarrhea, I'm going to get do That's, it for a burrito, quesadilla, or burrito how, bowl. How about this? How about the uh, the level of... Look at me, please. Look at me, please. got to go to the phone. We don't have to go anywhere. Well, we do. I want to just say a couple things. What about the fact that... What about the customization in chipotle how you have everything in front of you and you can make it to your liking you could put as much you could put double this leave out this use this you could you could make Don't it care. exactly to your specifications so you can go in there and really whatever you're in the mood Don't for care. they yeah. will make it yeah. you will run I'll tell that you whole what. thing i'll tell you what why don't i bring my own chicken and i'll get behind the grill and cook it myself i just want to i just want to read care. you the, i just want to read i don't you care the, the it's Chick-fil-A not what i menu chicken sandwich chicken sandwich Chicken sandwich. Oh, that's not true. Chicken nuggets. Chicken salad. Chicken no. grilled chicken salad. Chicken sandwich. It's yeah. like, what are we doing here? Yeah, they do. They do. They specialize in one thing, and they make a grand slam hit out of it. There's a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit biscuit for breakfast. There's a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. There's a chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit. There's a, a hash brown uh, scramble bowl. There's a hash brown uh, scramble burrito. I mean, this there's is a breakfast item. There's yeah. salad. Well, but stop saying that the menu is all the same. The, there's a chicken salad wrap. It's, there's actual but, salads. But it's it's just chicken, 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 we gotta chicken, go to chicken, the chicken. You're flailing here. It's embarrassing. How am I flailing, bro? All right, ready? Let's Green. talk about Green Chef. Green Chef. What is it? Green Chef. It's a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef is making eating well easy with plans that fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit you and your preferences. And, you know, look, we talk about meal kits on this show. One thing that Green Chef is doing that I think is very, very cool is that they are targeting specific lifestyle dietary preferences. That's very cool that they say, are you paleo? Are you keto? Are you? That's, yes, I, so, I like that. I so like that. when they joined on, we get to try it out, and yeah. I ordered my first one, and I picked the carb conscious. Uh-huh. It should be here any day. Okay. What'd you great. order? Because I saw that you ordered too. I think I ordered also. I think I also ordered carb conscious. I think that was, and there was another one that was called like eat well. So I, I okay. picked either that or carb conscious. Well, whether you're looking for car- carb conscious or gluten free, plant based or calorie conscious options, or you just want to have delicious, balanced dishes, Green Chef has flavorful, good food uh, recipes that are sure to satisfy. As the first ever and only keto meal kit on the market, Green Chef makes sticking to a carb conscious lifestyle. Easy. Enjoy your greens while being green. Also, Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of their plastic packaging in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and emissions. That's, That's actually nice. very important to me. You know, I don't... I don't uh, See this thing? I, ha- I got this because I took a, a car service home. But like 10 years ago, I stopped buying plastic bottles. 
It's that's it's very uh, wasteful. Yeah. It's problematic. It is. It's I problematic. Agree. Yeah. I agree. So I like that they uh, do that. Go to greenchef.com slash taste buds one three zero and use code taste buds one three zero to get a hundred thirty dollars off plus free shipping. That's a heck of a deal, folks. Greenchef.com slash taste buds one three zero and use code taste buds one three zero to get a hundred thirty dollars off plus free shipping. <laughs> so talk to me about you know what about athletic about greens. athletic greens? I love athletic greens. Uh, I've been taking them for years. Um, they are now a partner on the website. I started taking athletic greens probably about two, three years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, my lady introduced me to them, and we did. She did a lot of research actually, and it turned out that this was like one of the 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 the, the highest quality. Okay. Uh, Places to, it's really a. I, I take it for the vitamins, but it supports good probiotics, gut health, and things like that. That's Energy. my favorite thing is the gut health. Gut health is something that's very, very sort of dis- discarded, like an overlooked. That's that's that is true. I and believe it that. is incredibly important. Digestive issues, digest, feeling bloated, all these things can be. What I know. do is I uh, every morning before I leave the house to go to work, I make myself. I just shake it up. Put a scoop in, shake it up in a bottle, and I take it with me. And you play the song Shake It Up by the Cars. Shake it up. As you dance do this. all night. Yeah. Do the hurricane journey. Uh, and I take it with me, and I drink it along my commute. That's one of the I things. love the taste of it, too. That's another thing. It doesn't taste like the earth. And that's the, one of the things I like about Athletic Greens is it's designed to benefit your lifestyle. It's sort of an on-the-go thing. Or if you want to sit home while you drink it, you could do that, too. One scoop has 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, uh, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. And this is something you can toss right into your carry-on bag if you're traveling or whatever else it is. So it helps, again, keep with the lifestyle uh, consistency that we all need the travel and all these things break up consistency with the diet and with the healthy routine helps support better sleep quality and recovery which is awesome it's less than a gram gram of sugar which is if by the way if you like fresh pressed juices and you like green juice a lot of times those are loaded with like yeah, yeah. apple it, it, it there's a lot of sugar in it this is less than a gram of sugar it's like 50 calories i think a serving costs less than three dollars a day if you go into these high-end juice places that are all over the place now and these juice bars and these shit you're paying nine dollars for a fresh squeezed juice to get the same thing uh or less quite frankly uh your subscription comes with a year supply of vitamin d which is so important to add in this in these winter months when you don't get as much sunlight and athletic green says over seven thousand five star reviews you sold me boys you sold me right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season yep. it's just one scoop and a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health which is also what i did i made it replace my uh my daily all right let's take that again because the doorbell rang okay right now it's time to reclaim your health and your Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. How much? Just one sco- scoop? Just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills, supplements to look out for your health. This is all you need. And to make uh, it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first, pers- first, first purchase. <laughs> all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash taste buds. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash taste buds to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. I love Chipotle, but the quality of food has gone downhill. I'm never satisfied with what I order anymore. Chick-fil-A is so good, it makes me go against my own morals. (laughs) I hate that I love it. This isn't even close for me. I've only had Chick-fil-A a single time, but it's a million times better than anything I've been to. Oh, wow. Okay. Here, there, first off, God bless. Oh, hey there, sorry. First off, God bless. Secondly, Chipotle tastes like they purposely put sour cream in the freezer, so absolutely nothing is hot in the 15 seconds it takes to sit down. God bless. You want to read some of these? (laughs) Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. All right. First of all, Papa, uh, no need for a second, so I'm going Chipotle. Chick-fil-A is the vanilla ice of fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I never had Chick-fil-A so sad. Uh, as a small town Canadian, well, can- Canada doesn't have them. Chipotle is hit or miss. Chick Fil A is at least consistent. Chipotle offers more variety, both in food it offers and the sexuality allows its customers <laughs> to have. Hey, <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> oh, scroll up. Yeah, it's it's okay. the, yeah. We know this. They are pick. Oh, this is like pick, <laughs> this, this is like, is like Jesus, Jesus and God. God. That's a contender. Uh, I just know Chipotle makes Sal's tummy hurt. 
Chick-fil-A is overrated. Chipotle, because at least I get my salmonella on Sunday. Boom, boom, pow. Chick-fil-A and only Chick-fil-A only tastes good because of the sauce. Tastes so microwaved. Now, Chipotle, that's Nirvana right there. With every bite, it's, an angel gets its wings and kids' wishes come true. Yeah, this is a hard one when they're both when they're both at their best. I do have to say I find Chick-fil-A's quality to be much more consistent across locations with time, over time. Chipotle, you could easily come across a bad day or location. All right, one more. On taste only, CFA is like McD's. I know exactly what I get. And it's the, it, when I get it and the spicy sandwich, only one that really burns. Chipotle is delish unless you get rotten lettuce or E. coli. Google each out, Google each an outbreak. Twenty five million Chipotle sentiment over E. coli, uh, diarrhea, etc. Oh, wow. CF uh, Chick Fil A nada. No no lawsuits for food poisoning. All right, let's give it to the the sexuality one or the sure that was a, that all made us laugh. That right there, he just passed it. Okay, follow at J A Y S O R R E X. We've already plugged. Let's just. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, I'm well, not sure, to be honest. Well, I think that you are going to win because I think Chick Fil A probably has, you know, ten times more but sales you've got more, and locations you, than Chipotle. But no, did you see how many people said it's not? They don't have Chick Fil A in Canada. Okay, you know, so yeah. I don't know. Well, here we go. Okay, we got fourteen thousand votes. Yeah, fourteen thousand votes. This is the humble pie segment. Let's get a drum roll, Pimpy. Get that graphic in here. What is the percentage? Pimpy's chip picking Chipotle. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Handily. Chick-fil-A wins handily here. 62% to 38% after 14,200 votes so far. So that That is a clear-cut winner. I did believe that uh, in the end it was going to win when we started looking up the statistics that they have more sales than McDonald's and are and past KFC, and Chipotle is not as big as, as, a, as an operation. But, uh, man, I thought... Mexican food would take a chicken sandwich. I really did. I'm behind you. I'm, I'm creeping up, dude. I'm you have two up. wins in a row now. I'm creeping back up. I still love you. I love you too. Buzz. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. 